Many people use a computer on a day-to-day -day basis. However, very little of them, them think about the, the effort that goes into the, creating the apps that they like to use. This is, this is the world of computer programming, where we will explore what goes into creating those apps. Computer programming has been around since at least the 1960s, when the world's first calculator called the Anita was built, and it's been getting more and more advanced ever since then. The basic process that goes into creating one of our favorite apps, whether it be Google Chrome or iTunes or any game, is that the creator of the app must first learn how to use a programming language. Programming languages are basically languages that a computer speaks. This, the idea of how a computer understands programming languages is, based, is kind of similar to how humans can speak different languages, whether they be English or French or Spanish or Italian. Well, pro there are programming languages that are called C++, Java, Objective-C, and Apple Script, and there's a lot more. Programming languages are basically languages that a computer understands. So how do you create an app is you type what's called source code, which is like the words of a programming, langu programming language, into a compiler, which then creates your app based on the source code or words that you have put in. So, this is the um, source code for a basic C++ application that just says, Hello world, this is a programming video, and that's it. I compile, I clicked compile, and it built the program. Now, when ha what happens when you compile a program is it converts, the compiler converts your source code into little numbers that kind of look like this, except for it's just ones and zeros. These are called binary. Binary are electronic signals that a computer's hardware understands. So, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching.